Yo, welcome back, Zekar here, and today in Monster Hunter World, I'm gonna be going through the the Witcher side quests, basically, in Monster Hunter World here. Um, basically, it's kind of a special assignment that you get um, at uh, when you are in Astera here. That's what it is. Um, so you you get it. And it allows you to, in the end, unlock the ability to, well, fight a lesson from the game The Witcher. It's like a collaboration uh, hunt uh, that they that they did between The Witcher and uh, Monster Hunter. So uh, basically, yeah, it's um, an initial quest to you know kind of go through. You get to play as Geralt as well. Um, honestly, myself, I've never played The Witcher, so I'm not sure of any of the specifics, but, um, yeah, I play Monster Hunter, mainly. Anyway, uh, so, basically, then, it's, uh, kind of an old quest, I think, uh, like, I think you have to have, like, Monster Hunter World Patch 6.0 to unlock it, which is quite old, I would assume, everyone would have that at this point uh, everyone should have that at this point um, anyway so yeah basically if you're in Astera the main thing you just have is you just yeah these felons are right here third felon fleet so they um, say stuff and you know you can kind of see what they say in the area they'll say just you know a couple of things to get your attention so then you come over here talk to them and they, I believe, will give you the event hunt. Now, to be honest, I believe this is only a one-time uh, hunt that you can do this to unlock it. So, to be honest, I've never done it myself before. So, this is going to be a first time for me. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, this felon is saying, ah, oh, the Sapphire Star. Just the hunter we're looking for. Yes. Please, you have to come back to the research base with us. The old lining expert lady wants to talk to you. Okay, I will... I guess I'll join you. I always love joining fuzzy little felons anyway. You see, we're out on a safari when suddenly a tail raider we've never seen before joined and followed us back to base. Uh-huh. He's got a really scary face. Even scarier than yours. Hey, don't don't call my face scary. <laughs> Pete certainly doesn't think my face is scary. Why do you... But it didn't try to eat us or anything. Um, well, I'm glad for that, I guess. The old expert lady didn't know what to make of it, so we came here to find someone that could help. Yeah, okay, I'm helping. But Astera is pretty big, and everyone's so tall. Thank goodness you found uh, us first. Um, everyone's so tall. So, how am I any different than everyone else? I'm still just as tall. I'm a human. What did you expect? Please, Hunter, lend us a paw. Will you come back to the research base with us? Yes, I, I will, uh, even though I don't have paws. Pete has paws. Honestly, this should be like um, me having Pete join them. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, so something's happened at the research base. Head there at your earliest convenience. This is a special assignment unrelated to the research commission's main mission of solving the Elder Crossing. Yeah, this, it's basically a side quest. Speak to the third fleet member with a blue icon above her head to adv advance the special assignment. The special assignment has voice options for all those languages. And yeah, you can change the language. Okay. There we go. Please, Hunter, come back to the research base with us and hear what the lining expert lady has to say. Yes, I was already planning it. You've to the research base. Okay, well, I guess he'll just take me there. So that's fine. Many thanks, Hunter. Let's head out right meow. Yeah, meow. <laughs> ah, felons. Okay. A new tutorial was added. Trouble brewing in the research base. Talk to the Linean expert. Okay. So, uh, let's see where she should be. Down here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Oh, Hunter. I'm glad you're here. Yeah? I have this in Japanese. You see that curious creature over there? It suddenly showed up out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's right down to the left of me. 
I believe. I saw it when I st stood here. Must have followed the Tay Raider Safari in the ancient forest and made its way back here. Yeah. Leave it to felons to have weird things to follow them back home. I'm trying to figure out what it could be, but I've given up. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't even speak. I'm beginning to doubt that it's from this world, or that it's even living for that matter. Maybe. Whatever it is, it's outside my area of expertise. It's best the commander was informed of this, okay? Yeah. I'll inform the commander, or send the felon to fetch him right away, okay. Mind staying around here until he arrives? Yeah, sure, I will. If you your case, to say the least, I'm interested to see what comes of it. Okay. So yeah, that is a weird thing. I think I see the under- I s think I understand the situation, yeah. That does look like some freaky thing. Not really sure what to make of it just yet. Yeah, these are my. Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it, none of those features seem to re resemble anything close to what we know as a living creature. Uh-huh. You're saying this creature could have come from another world. Seems like a lot. Oh, that's going around lately. Yeah, it actually does happen a lot, quite a bit. People might find the answer to that in the ancient forest where it was first spotted. Yeah. Too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct the invest this investigation with extreme caution. Yeah, that would be always the best. And there I am on the right. Seems to take a while to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it may. With some creepy creature like that. If only there was someone who knew exactly what this was. Yeah, if only. Don't take Pete's potion. Okay. So he came through a portal. Okay. You don't see me a threat? Okay. No, I don't. Where am I? Um, you're in the Monster Hunter world. New world. Third Fleet Research Base, to be more specific. And you are? Geralt of Rivier. Yeah, the Witcher. He was tracking a mother monster through when he was transported here, was it? Yeah. Must have been magic of some kind that brought me into this world. Yeah. It is magic. Yeah, that is that sounds strange. It does sound like fairy tale. You're saying it's hard to believe. But after what we just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Necker. Okay. Oh, quite familiar with those, so he knows what it is. How did that one even get here? Came from the ancient forest. Right there, maybe we can find clues as to why you and the Necker came to our world. Okay. Yeah. Or I feel mon monsters from another world might be from beyond the research commission is capable of handling. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, I happen to be a monster slayer of sorts myself, so. Venture out in order to take it. Of course, at a price. He's, yeah, wants to charge for it. He's offering to go out there. We're counting it. Okay, yeah. So, I guess the commi and the commission's gonna pay f pay him for it. All right, let's go over what we know. Yeah. First, this creature is called the Necker. It is not from our world. Uh huh. Yeah. Second, the Necker is somehow transported from this its world to the ancient forest. Uh huh. And third, what causes this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come into our world remains unknown. Yes, it does. He's probably dropped through a portal like I did. A different one. One up in this ancient forest of yours. Yeah. Worth looking into, I'd say. Yeah, probably. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you might think it is. Not to mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. 
You scavenge your birds with black feathers. I see. Scavenger birds. Huh. Sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, I guess it does in a sense. If you're looking for birds that want to peck you to death. <laughs> Commission. We'll provide support in wherever we can. We've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. Okay. Yeah, that's great. We need all the research we can get. If you cross paths in this forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Yeah, I won't. Thanks. Normally I'd have you handle science like this. Yeah, I know. You should have me. I'm, I'm the one with the Fatalis sword. Given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one to the Witcher's hands. Yeah, unfortunately. Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it is. Yes, sir. Right. Let me handle this one, Hunter. I promise I'll end it. Tend to it right away. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So, you want to help Geralt. You get to play as Geralt. E equipment for it is predetermined. You can only keep the rewards. Um, meal effects are lost, and it won't count towards guild, tor guild cards weapon usage statistics. But, uh, yeah, of course. That's what you'd do. Okay. So now it just puts you in to um, into the into the forest, the ancient forest here. So you're gonna look around. You are Geralt. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to this guy, and I don't know what this igni sign is. Let's see. Okay, so it's just a fire. Takes a second, a few seconds to recharge. A couple seconds. Let's talk to this guy. Pleased to meet you, Master Witcher. I'm one of the commission's smithies. Commander ordered me to set up shop here and make sure you have whatever you need at your disposal. I'm not sure if you have weapons like this where you're from, but I put together a selection of some of the best we've got. If you want to change any equipment, come see me, and I'll get you what you need. Okay, change equipment. Well, that's nice. At least I can change equipment. I'm experienced with greatsword, so I guess I will pick greatsword. Okay, so it's a rare six. Interesting. The sword and shield is a rare eight. Anybody want to see the the Witcher using a greatsword? I, <laughs> I guess I will. <laughs> greatsword it is. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's see. Okay, interesting. So they put all <laughs> all animations for that. Okay. So um, now he basically just helps me with equipment. So let's see. Um, now I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I need to put the chief botanist. Okay. Let's find the botanist. Ancient forest. Easy place to get lost. Yeah, actually it is. Of course, follow the map, yeah. Just head over here. Through the weeds. Okay, hello. The monster, mangled pretty bad from what I can see. Yeah. You got that right. Uh, wait a sec, aren't you? Yeah, you don't know who this is. Geralt, I'm a witcher. She a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Um, yeah, apparently. Wait, the witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Yeah, okay. I actually need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass would, could be linked. I see. Might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Yeah, that's true. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Okay, and examine. So you can examine everything, I assume. Examine the head. Therefore, gotta be judging by the shape of his head. 
Yeah, um, I already knew that. That's right, it's called an Aftonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. Yes, they do. Large herds. Often this big? Quite a feast for a predator. Oops, I cut that off. Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You can say they're quite tasty. Uh, well, um, I guess that's what they like. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see Aptonoth carcass lying around here and there. Okay, so that means Aptonoth, um, yeah, that, that's why they run so much. Examine the body. Body's riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Uh-huh. Bird beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Uh, that, those are some dangerous birds. Okay, examine the limbs. Broken bones, swollen muscles. There's running away from something collapsed here. Yeah? Aptonoth will only feel, uh, run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. Well, yeah, Aptonoth are generally um, feeling threatened all the time in Monster Hunter. No other Aptonoth around. Whatever attack this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Yeah. Clever. Yeah, I guess in a sense. Okay, leave. Um, that's that's all. So, it seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Uh huh. Easy deduction, I guess. And first life while being pecked at, dropped dead here. Uh huh. So strange. Never seen these birds prey on living monsters. Oh, that's true. It's just unheard of. Yeah, it is unheard of. Yes, sir, sir, see if I can find more clues. Yeah. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Okay. I'll be sure to come back if I need to talk to you again. Okay, so you want me to search around to see if there's any tracks. Okay, man. Just seeing if there's any tracks around, but maybe there isn't. Okay, black feathers. Yeah, feathers from the black bird. Okay, there we go. Follow the trail of black feathers. Okay. Well, you want me to talk to the chief botanist? I need to do that first, don't I? Let's go over here. Is this where the chief botanist is? I hope it is. Yeah, there we go. What do we have here? A journal? So investigate that. No, it's run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Oh no. You look around for clues. Okay. I see. Long strike, deep prints. Took off in a pen. I see. Prints leap deeper into the woods. When I spoke to him. Yeah, that's true. Slide down here, following the tracks. Get rocks in Gerald's pants. Or Gerald's pants, I should say. Tracks out of the place. Something I had. Okay, something attacked, I see. Yeah, let's see. Let's check out what this is. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. I see. Must have been chased into this cave. Okay. Let's see. And of course, the bats attack. Medallion's humming up a storm. Magic in the air, gotta be. Yeah, this looks like magic. Um, so, where am I headed to? Right here? Oh, investigate these, okay. Tree ruts. Oh, extending in one direction. Uh-huh. Reaching out for something, looks like. Uh-huh. You follow these ruts. Yeah, that's true. So, the ruts go this way. 
More trucks. The regular distance between them. Uh huh. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. Mm hmm. So, tracking over here. Going through all these places. Up there. Fuke, Fuke. He says it's world. Unlucky one at that. A sign of predation. We're shocked at this. Okay, I see. Hopefully, we resolve the footprints was luckier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, a fiver. You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, didn't you? Uh, I'm not really a fiver. These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Yeah, they did. Yeah, wait, you're not from the fifth, are you? Uh, nope. Like he isn't. Name's Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. I sent here to look her into certain events happening happened recently in these woods. Ah, oh, yes. Commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. Um, I guess he does. Oh, welcome to the new world. I should shake your hand, but, well, you know. Yeah, really. I'm a member of the research commission. Master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Uh-huh. Um, need help? Yeah. I'm not sure in need of serving my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in ruts. That's true. Alright. What's in it for me? <laughs> he wants a reward for rescuing a guy? Let me tell you. Yeah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. <laughs> Yeah, really. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? <laughs> Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree ruts. We'll talk compensation later. What happened? Ruts seem to like you. A lot. <laughs> yeah, really. I assure you the feeling is not mutual. <laughs> yeah, really. There I was, minding my business. I was conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. Uh -huh, I see. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. Yeah, really. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well... I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. You were trying to persuade Roots to release you? That's an intelligent idea. <laughs> you mean to say you tried to talk to the Roots around your point of view? A bit carefree under the circumstances, would you say? <laughs> yeah, really. The commission is quite a capable hunter, you see. Thus, Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And I think he's talking about me. He exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Well, um, if he's talking about me, I, I thank you. <laughs> Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. Okay, well, yeah, I, he's got to be talking about me. And perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Well, um, I do have other work to do. Think you might have learned your, your lesson? Yeah, hopefully you did. Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin. There's much research to be done on this phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, really. Guess not. <laughs> Okay, let's get you free. Don't exactly look like normal tree ruts. He's definitely something strange about them. Yep. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I'll leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Okay. That's the safest way. Igni can take care of those ruts right quick. Okay. So I will... There we go. Do that. Well, I got him out at least. There we go. You're all right. Thank you, thank you. That was incredible. Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. Um, yeah, he is a wizard. I'm no wizard. Oh, witcher. Monster Slayer. Uh, yeah, I see. Oh, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. Um, tell me about the tree roots. 
So it's like these on the way here. They're common in your world? Um, nope, not at all. Absolutely not. I've never seen them before. I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It's true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. Oh yeah, that's quite true. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Uh -huh. Yes. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times things can do, I mean, things can and do grow at normal rates, abnormal rates. Those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. Yeah, that's probably true. Why were you attacked? Yes, why did they attack you? Any idea? I'm the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Yeah, he was distracted looking at his notebook and, you know, something comes out of nowhere. Probably from the back. Notice anything else during the attack? You know, honestly, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner, but luckily that didn't happen. If you're worried about that, you probably shouldn't be out in the field. You saw them too, yes? This poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots. Seems they were untouched by a, any predators. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Aha, uh -huh, probably. Territorial. This thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Yeah, it is territorial, apparently. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. Um, yeah. Uh, plants, I don't see plants as being territorial in that sense. <laughs> Must be something else. Yeah, that's true. So you like plants? So you like plants? So much you became a botanist, huh? Apparently, yeah, he did. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. <laughs> you see, we Rivernians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. Uh, yeah, it is something to think about. The plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. Yeah, that's maybe true. In other words, I choose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Well, um, I kind of understand that, yeah. Call me Craven, if you will. If that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. I don't think it makes you a coward. Fear of loss wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. Yeah, that's true. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, really. Plants have brought me back to what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Puke Puke, might as well see that. Uh, Puke Puke, what kind of beast are we talking about? There are large bird wyverns known for their vividly cover, colorful feathers and scales. Yes, they are. Um, they're like peacocks. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues. But if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You call that charming? <laughs> they're like a chameleon with um, a long tongue. <laughs> you should see one for yourself. Of course, chameleons have long tongues, don't they? I think. Hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Uh, bye. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would you? Mine might not be around next time to burn you free. Yeah, that's probably true. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. Well, in a sense, I mean, yeah. Right you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. <laughs> Best of luck out there, Master Witcher. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just try to keep quiet, all right? Yeah, keep quiet so that he doesn't attract anything. Here's day. This is the work of something that wields magic. I see. Try and find another commission member? Um, I had already done that. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go back down here um, and find the... the those roots to follow, or not roots, roots, but the... 
I was gonna follow those feathers. But really all I have to do is get down here. Slide down here. Now this is the rocky pants part. And you have to dodge roots too, which you could possibly get that in your crotch, which would be terrifying. Okay, no, I need to go this way again. Okay, let's get over here. It's kind of directing me over there. Now I'm not really following the feathers, but um, I'm just heading this way. Probably out into the big Aptanoth field area. Uh, let's head this way so I can come up to it the proper direction. Here we go. There we go. Here's the feathers. Bunch of revultures there. Over that, Aptanoth. Black feathers in the markings. Same as on the previous corpse. Flock seems to be attacking at one. Yeah, they are, but it's not, not alive anymore. He's trying to pick uh, pick them off one by one. Stop attacking me. Couldn't incinerate them all with Igni, though. Don't see any other way. <laughs> okay, let's get close. There we go. Got them. Sometime later. Okay. Okay, Witcher, sir. Um, I guess I am. Fine. Seems the blackbirds are the culprits. Yeah, they are. The vultures. The scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. Yeah, usually they are. Can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. I guess. Tell me more about revultures. These birds attack me too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? Be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless there was some kind of external factor, something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem. Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance. Exactly. I didn't, it didn't seem like the, that was the case, though. Mm -hmm. They seemed pretty lively. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. That's true. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. Yeah, that's probably true. I never have either. It's as if something was manipulating them. Yeah, it did seem that way. They were all bunched together and flocking around something. Anything else out of the ordinary? Yeah, might as well ask that. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it. I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when I saw me, though. wonder what that was. Necker. Could be. Small humanoid creature. Ugly smirk on its face. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Huh. Now that you mention it, it did ha it had something on its face. Around its mouth. Like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Oh, yeah, good question. Pretty bold hypothesis, though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Um, it followed some felons home. I have sensed in my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Um, yeah, that would probably be me. Why this profession? Mind me asking why you chose this line of work. I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That, and it's easy peasy. Uh, you know, I always, I, I like critters as well. I like animals. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails. Uh huh. The next thing I knew, I was out here, just like magic, don't you think? 
Um, I guess, yeah, you could say that. I went all to my parents and research for always being so patient with me. Oh well, yeah, parents should be patient with their children. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. Yeah, um, I would say that too. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. Yes, I'm gonna be careful. Is Igni... Okay, so find out... Yeah. Controls plants and animals, cutting of the hair, and fox combined, no doubt. But it also transported both me and the Necker to this world. Uh huh. Seems stronger than a normal lesson. One life in this forest could be a factor. Uh -huh. Right, need to find this totem. It should be deep in the woods near the center. Okay. Map ought to be helpful. Yeah, map ought to be helpful. You're gonna... Okay, direct me there. Um, let's see, let's head this way. Looks like it's on the map. We'll see. Head this way. I'll just wander my way there. Oh, okay. Inscription of some kind. Can't decipher it. Remember, the commission might be able to. Okay. New side quest. Huh, okay. Chief issue in progress. Find a researcher to read the doodles. Okay. A researcher. Probably the, um... The... Botanist? Maybe? Or should I just go back to her? Well, there's an exclamation mark that way. So let's just head this way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Another one? Same shapes and patterns. Yeah, you need to find a researcher who can figure it out. That's what I'm trying to do. Map ought to be helpful. Yeah, I know. The map is helpful. Um, heading this way. Medallion's humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Okay, totem's there. Um, let's get up here. I don't know what's in this exclamation mark area. Trying to find the researcher that it's wanting me to go to. More. Yeah. That just might give me research in a sense. Who knows? Maybe I can ignore these. Who knows? Let's see. So the exclamation mark was interesting. There's an exclamation mark there on my map, but I don't see anything here. Oh, up there. Okay. Um, let's see. I believe you get up there from over here. As far as I remember. Over here. Over here. Okay, there we go. This might work. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. Fine, I'm wandering around the ancient forest. Not necessarily super easy. I think you can swing across there, so I have to go back over here. Okay. Get over here. And figure out how to get up there. Is it here or here we go this way okay and hmm K 
Okay, so let's see. Huh. Never been up there before. Or have I? I have no idea. Okay, well, let's um, look at the map. Do this. Linian researcher. Well, you know, that's, that's the way to do it. Instead of wandering around. Oh. <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> Ancient forest hides, hides lots of paths. Okay, let's see. Hello. Is that a hunter I see? No, it's not. You are... I'm what? Names of Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Got some questions for you. Oh, uh, yes. A witcher. Yes, of course. I'm to provide whatever assistance you may need. Commander's orders. If the questions you have, fire away. Okay, yeah. Found strange markings. Can you decipher them? Found some strange markings. Could be linked to the recent events in the forest. Can you decipher them? So you found some too. Have you? Those are Gajalaka doodles. Oh, okay. Regrettably, I've not made much progress in my doodle research, and thus I'm incapable of deciphering them. Ah, oh, unfortunately. Any chance of speeding up their progress? What would it take? I would need to collect many more doodles, which would require the commission hunter's assistance. Okay. I see. Well, unfortunate, to say the least. Okay. Tell me about your research. If you have the research, what is it? I specialize in small creatures called linians. Um, yeah, felons. For instance, felons, gremokins, gajalaka, are all species of linians, each with their own unique culture. Yeah. I spend most of my days traversing the new world, researching their ecology, culture, and lifestyle. Must have strong knees to travel that much at your age. Well, you know, he probably does. Uh, perhaps in my more youthful days, but these fragile legs of mine aren't, just aren't what they used to be. Well, you still manage to get around though, dude. So that's... admirable. I'm afraid I can... I just can't keep up with the little fellows. My by my aching my ach aching na ankles, uh, if I could speak, they're nimble as, be, as can be. <laughs> uh, tongue twisting in a sense. These days, I just get hunters to track them for me. I guess the little creatures here can be just as much of a pain as they are in my world. Yeah, they, they tend to be. Okay, take care. Okay. Side quest failed. Oh, come on! Side quest failed! Not sure what it means by that. That's not fair. Did I not collect enough of them? Oh well. Unless it was intended to fail. I have no idea. Okay, so now... Um, I gotta go back to the Leshen down there. The totem. Let's jump off here if I can. Okay. Yeah, make him hurt his feet for failing that quest. <laughs> Okay, let's get over here. See how well the Witcher can swing. Oh, looks like he can swing good enough. Okay, slide down here. Get more rocks and sticks in my pants. Okay, let's check out the... Hmm, Leshen's totem. Should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Okay. Huh? What's that? A bunch of Jagras. Oh no. Okay. So I gotta defeat all of these Jagras. This is what you do. Yeah, you just... With the great sword, you just mob attack. There we go. Mob control. I know it's probably weak, but it helps with mob control. Now I'm losing a lot of sharpness. And of course, they make me. 
Come on. And then I missed them anyway. Okay. Come on. Stop beating me around. Let's use a potion. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Just get all of them. Hopefully. There we go. Finally. They give me a weak weapon for it, that's for sure. So, Leshen can sway over the other beast. Run into it. Need to be careful. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, interact. Okay. Just set it on fire. <laughs> and the vultures come. And there's the lesson. And of course he's got to do some fancy moves to dodge stuff. Yes, set it on fire. And he likes to teleport behind you too. Okay, I've got to fight this thing. No, I don't want to use a potion. Okay, come on. Ow. Ouch. Come on. And then I'm getting beat around by him. Okay. Let's heal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. I can't. No. This is this is not good. <laughs> Heal. He's encased himself in a in another pot. Oh. He's filling the whole place with branches. Oh. Okay, come on. There we go. Got him. There we go. No, we teleported. Where'd he go? Oh. I made sure to teleport on the other side of a tree so that I can't see him. I see. Okay. Oh! Stop attacking me with your birds. Okay. No, yeah, stop roaring. Now he teleports. Okay, and he left. Okay. Let's sharpen. There we go. Stay in blue sharpness. Did they give me rations? Oh, steaks. Okay, that's that's good. It helps me. Gives me more stam. Okay. Stare jerky. Okay, interesting. They give me a whole bunch of stuff.
Yeah, just roar. Slinger contraption? Okay. Um, or some rocks. There we go. Get some attacks in. Okay. How did that hit me? I wasn't even that close. Okay, is there some slinger ammo around here? That's kind of what I'm looking for. No! Trying to find some slinger ammo, but... Use that. There we go. Get a hit in. There we go. Get him in the leg. Now, supposedly, there's a bunch of parts you can break on him, too. So many more birds. At least he's fairly slow. I didn't pick up any stones previously. Wish I would have. There we go. Damaging. Let him teleport. Actually, was there some slinger ammo up here? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think there is. Heal. Might as well heal. Where is the thing? Let me guess, he's up there. There we go. Okay, let's get him down here and use the Igni sign. Come down here, uh, tree thingy. No, don't get away. <laughs> no. Okay. Where's he going? Okay, over this way. Up here. Okay, get across over here and down here. Why it makes me go all the way up there and not just run down below, I don't know. There we go. Like this. And then I get hit. Come on. Oh, I'll grab this. Dragon pods. Ow. Well, I got him before he teleported. Okay. Paralyzed. That's not bad. He can be paralyzed. That's good. Ow. I was going to hit him with the slinger. Let's hit this. There we go. Okay. See if I can hit him with the Igni sign again. 
after he's done teleporting. Why do you have to be up on a mushroom? Hit him in the butt. That's alright, I don't have... I don't have crit draw, so I can use true charge strike and stuff. Honestly, my normal playstyle is um, hit and run. <laughs> oh, I was trying to roll away from that. And now I'm now I'm stunned. Great. Well, thank you, um, Jagras. You actually helped me. And now, no, I'm attacking nothing. This. Now, supposedly, I read that it's it's um, you can flash it. There we go. And now I'm. Oh, not come on. Hit it in the butt. Okay. Oh yeah, I might as well heal. These pots don't heal very much. Use it. There we go. See if I can get in. No! Of course. Okay, now it leaves. Okay, head this way. Actually, the sharpen again. There we go. Head down here. Now it's over here. Use that again. Ha <laughs> Got you on fire. Broke something. <laughs> yeah, if you break its horns twice, as far as I know. I think um, it will reduce the number of... Okay, so I'm bleeding. Apparently it causes bleed. That's not necessarily good. There we go. Ow! No! Well, um, he like he teleported behind me, so I think I actually hit him. There we go. Is it? There we go. That, yeah, I get hit. <laughs> I get hit every time on that. <laughs> the Witcher can dive. Okay. Well, I broke, I broke his butt. Okay. Let's get his head here. Okay, let's heal. Ow! Yeah, is that all you have? Ooh. Okay. Let's use another pot. There we go. Okay. He's getting his vultures back, though. So now where is he going? Come on, where did you go? 
Oh, he's over here. In the doorway. Let's get this. There we go. Of course. I hit him in the head, but I got hit pretty well there, too. Okay, let's get this. One more, another pot. This is giving me mega pots, too. Oh, you know what? I should probably use the max pot that they gave me. I, was, I wasn't sure if it was going to do the AOE, AOE thing. Good, broke another part. Okay, let's... Okay. I'm messing up my keys now. Ooh. Get one more hit in. Okay. Time to end this. Yeah, it is time to end this. Okay, let's head over here. Must be weak. These are bomb pods. Okay, actually... These are only bomb pods. I thought I... Saw that, like, um... Dragon pods were actually better for some reason. Let's head over here. Looks like it's over here, rather than out in the usual field. There we are. Now it's angry. Okay. Let's use this. <laughs> okay. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Yep, wrong direction. Ow, he hit me, hit me with the birds. I have a strange feeling of... Um... Reminiscent of... The birds. Even though I've never watched that movie. The vulture's chipping away at my health. Where'd he go? Eh. Um, ancient pot. Okay, yeah, let's use that. Ha ha ha. There. Yeah, that... Helps me a lot. Oh! I should have used the ancient pot from the beginning. Yeah, no, I got hit back right at the right and wrong time. <laughs> okay. Let's use the mega pot. There we go. Got him in the head. Let's use the dragon pod. I think the dragon pod might have said something about, um... <laughs> I can't even get through. Okay, he's building himself a wall. And now I'm... Okay. Well, the jaguars help with that, so that's good. Okay, come out here, you... You wood splintered thingy. Okay, yeah, now he teleports. Okay, oh, and then he bats me away. Get him. No! Let's heal. 
Now, where is he? Over here, okay. There we go. Got rid of his vultures. Oh. Hey, let's mega pot. Okay. Just run around in circles. <laughs> Come on. Jagras. Get rid of the Jagras, maybe. At least. <laughs> They're actually annoying. Although they've saved my life a couple of times, which is not good now. Oh! <laughs> He's pushing me into a corner. Heal. There we go. See if I can hit him again. No, I used my last one. Nuts. Hit him in the foot. Okay, what's this? Dragon pods. Ha ha ha. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there now. Okay. And then I wasted the dragon pod. Well, let's use the igni sign. There we go. Come on, stupid Jagras. There we go. Oh, nuts. No! No? Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> ah, nuts. I was actually doing pretty good, though. This is the first time I've died. Okay, let's see. So, what's in the storage box? Oh, good, more supplies. Um, I will take all of that. This poison knife? And paralysis knife. Hey, not bad. Okay. They give me a lot of supplies in here. Get over here. And no, I didn't want to fall down there. Okay, so this way? Or Let's just see. Scout flies, where are you going to take me? Okay, I guess I'll climb back up here. There we go. Now I'll go this way. Get up here. Over here. Now head over this way. It's actually a fairly long quest. That's because it was an entire... Um, storyline. But if you like this type of content, just hit that like button. It really helps us out. Okay. Okay, now let's use Max Potion just because. Ouch. <laughs> Max potion, get my HP full. Yeah, is that all you got? Um, probably not. Let's use the Igni signal. Let's use this. Haha, <laughs> set you on fire. Come on. Oh, he hit me in the back. Come on. Get rid of the Jagras. Hopefully that did. Looks like it did. I should have sharpened. Now where is he? Right there, okay. Heh <laughs> 
Hit him in the head. <laughs> okay. Let's heal. Use this behind him. Take this. Of course. Slinger bombs. Hit him in the head with that. There he teleports. Come on. Hopefully I don't have too much left. Ow! Hard to stay in close to yeah, that's... Oh, he hit me there. Nuts. No! <laughs> Stunned by Jagras. That's, that's terrible. Well, at least I got that in. Hey, okay, come on. And the Jagras. No, Jagras! Come on. Stupid Jagras. They're very irritating. Okay, come on. They're very resilient Jaguars, too. Ah, coming around the tree. And then he gets me around the tree. <laughs> come on. Uh -huh. Let's use another mega pot. Okay. Let's use this again if I can. When he's done teleporting. Come on. Okay. Let's use... <laughs> first aid meds, I guess. Oh, these are first aid mud pluses. That's good. Nope, wrong. No, I don't want to do that. Trying to stay away from eh, the Jagras. In a sense, they're causing me problems. There we go. Main object completed. Whew. Ah, okay, I defeated it. Turning the base more men. Woods ought to settle down now. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's... Get this. I don't know if I get any of this, but um, yeah, at least get that. I should draw a lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Yeah, that's true. Should deliver them to commission. Should be useful for the research. Yeah, it would be. Okay. I don't know why I'm gathering stuff. I don't think I can collect any anything. And then, this is what I should have been doing. It's been a long time since I've used True Charge Strike, so I'm a bit rusty on that, to be honest. Very honest. Okay, so this is probably the Witcher setting off, or I'm, um, yeah, setting off out back to his world. Covered feels thanks. Couldn't have solved that problem without on our own. Yeah, that's probably true. 
Well, I could have been. I could have maybe defeated it. Thank you for coming to the new world. Yes. How will you get back to your world? Legends portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. Well, hopefully. Doesn't necessarily mean you will. Yeah, where's that hunter? You mean me? I'm lurking around somewhere. Well, I attend to the lesson. He cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's clear rarely in one place for too long. Yes, I am. As soon as that lesson was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. Of course. He sends his regards. Yes, I do. Now then, here's your reward. For a second, I thought he was going to say his reward is the, is the handler. <laughs> have to use that coin is. It can possibly have any value in my world. Yeah, that's true. Give it to the hunter. Well, thank you. They never gave me a pope. Could have killed the Russian without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is that? Runestone. Okay. Hunters don't wield any magic of their own, but in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a lesson ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. Okay. Well, thank you. I could use it. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. Yes. Take care, Gerald. Um, good luck finding a portal. Okay, so I got a bunch of the parts, so that's good. And a lot of these parts can be used to make the um, Leshen equipment. So take all. Yes. So I died once, yes, unfortunately. But, still, didn't do too bad. Okay, so you get a lot of stuff. Poses, and uh, you get the rune stone, and some cutscenes. Okay, nice. You didn't solve all mysteries, try solving them in one on all on a single go. Okay. I I I saw I swear I solved that. But okay. <laughs> oh well. Too bad. Okay. Well, I guess that was quite the long quest and um yeah. Get more special assignments. Okay, contract with the troublemaker. Or with the trouble in the ancient forest. Okay. Replayable. Oh, okay, so it's a special assignment that's replayable. Let me see. Post new quest. Um, you can play the special assignment, contract, trouble in the ancient forest. Collaboration with the Witcher 3, the hunted, as many times as you want. Okay. Step into Geralt of Rivia's shoes once more and try to find all of the side quests and endings. Complete all of the side quests in one playthrough and you'll be awarded the Wild Hunt title at the end. Oh, okay. I swear I completed it though, but eh, oh well. So it would probably be lower ra low rank, is it? Contract Trouble in the Ancient Forest. So special sign. Okay, you can continue to complete that. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So yeah, it's it's a repeatable special assignment that you can do. So um, not bad, pretty good. Um, and the the third felon fleet is unfortunately gone. I thought they were cute standing there, <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. I guess that's it for this um, coverage of the um, the what the Witcher event hunt in a sense something like that so anyway yeah if you like this video hit that like button we really appreciate it and it really helps out a lot if you haven't already subscribed hit the bell icon leave a comment and of course share it and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time in probably a not as long video most likely <laughs>